Okay. Let's see. What will a headshot damage do? Oh, yes. 147. Hopefully you can just stun lock him like this. No! Okay, good. He didn't run away. I guess he doesn't care much about life. Well, that helps me out a great deal. Now, with my catalyst back on, we shall uh, carry on. Yo, any attack that causes your body to become completely dismembered or torn to pieces probably isn't something you want to do. I mean, what if he does that and his head ends up flying off the ledge? It could happen, you know, it could, it could happen. We'll just deal with these guys like that, and there we go. Nothing like a bit of brute force occasionally. Though, uh, the idea of brute forcing with such, a, with such a, English, with such a slender looking weapon is a bit contradictory. But, hey, stop it. We'll deal with you later, Mr. Archer. But yeah, one time I was firing at the... Oh crap, a medium rolling! A medium rolling! Oh, it's so dirty. Hang on, let me just deal with you. And I'll... Uh, oh god. Oh, there we go, fast rolling again. But yeah, the necromancer ran away deep into the bowels of this cave, so what I would do is I would lure skeletons in and I would just keep kicking them off this ledge. It was a laborious process, but hey, it meant I wasn't getting constantly accosted by the fuckers. And so, you know, can you really complain about the- Oh, I didn't break a shield away. I would try and kick him while he's in that stance to see what would happen, but the kick and jump attacks are so goddamn unreliable that I dare not try it. There we go. When an enemy is blocking and your kick doesn't work, merely two-hand your weapon and... Just screw the crap out of them. Stop your nonsense and... Oh no, he's gonna parry me! Oh, he didn't. Whew. That was potentially scary. Though I doubt he would have done enough damage to kill me, but, you know, I, I don't want to be... Parried. Now then, let us... Let's have a look at this new weapon. Lucerne. There you are. It's a halberd, apparently. Oh wow, I've actually got the stats to use it. That's surprising. Ooh, it's a thrust. Halberd with a large, hard beak-like protrusion. Ooh, do go on. Inflicts thrust damage. Ooh, does it? Instead of thrusting like a spear, the wielder of the lucerne aims to club the head with its hard beak. Now, just for the sake of curiosity, I want to see what its attacks look like. I mean, I'm not going to actually use it. Oh, I see. It's a downward. That's very interesting. Yeah, you'll note that your character sort of... Uh, well, how, would, how would I word that? Staggers at the end of their attacks because it's a strong weapon. Like, even with the hand axe, I think, your character does that. Let's see, do I have a hand axe on me? Probably not. I'll probably put it into my bottomless box. Oh, well, never mind. It'll probably happen with this, too. I have to two-hand it, though. Um... No, it's just a very slow weapon. But anyway, for some of those big weapons, you sort of stagger after you do your attack. Unless you hit the enemy. If you hit the enemy, then you don't stagger. It's a little weird, but... Not something I have to worry about, because I don't use smelly strength weapons. I'd like to have a little more finesse than simply bashing someone over the head with a big stick. I mean, sure, it's effective, but, you know, it's not exactly what one would deem cultured. Oh, you prick. You can't be at that, son. But, yes. Uh, nothing here. Alright, well, let's mosey on. Now, this is where the archer will be. He'll have another bloke who spawns next to him. Which is... Well, that's him right there. But since I can kill these guys at one hit, though, it's not a major problem. Which I'm completely and totally okay with. Now, here is where Shiz starts to get a wee bit dangerous. We've got the explodey skull thingamajigs. We've got a necromancer over there. And more skeletons will respawn when we go over to that switch. Oh my god, he shot fire at me. You douchebag. Now, I'm wondering if, again, I can just kill this prick. Ah, dude. Yeah, he's just gonna... I can't hit him fast enough. Maybe I can. Let's try it again. 
Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity? Uh -huh. I should be fine now. And he's not going to move because... I guess he just doesn't like living that much. I suppose if I looked like him, then I probably wouldn't feel too great about the prospect either. But if I couldn't have killed him with the bow, then what I would have done would be... You know, just lead these guys back. What I would have done... Oh god, trap! <clears throat> and my throat just... Oh, my throat just did something. I don't know what was up with that. Oh, dude, would you stop that? Oh, now he's blocking. Now he's blocking! Huh. Prick. But yeah, what I would have done... I've... It's only been like five seconds, but already I forgot there was a trap. That's, yeah, that's great. Now, if I can finish my mother humping sentence, what I would have done would be try to weaken them down and finish them off with the Divine Club. And that way I wouldn't have to constantly be battling with these respawning enemies. Soul of a proud knight. Soul of the loss withdrawn from its vessel. I don't remember the speech, so I probably shouldn't say it. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. Yeah. Why are you making demon souls rough? I don't, I don't know. God damn it! <laughs> oh, that's going to be a thing during this level, isn't it? Constantly getting hit by those bloody traps. We'll just lure these guys ahead. There's a whole bunch of shortcuts through this level. You can do it platforming. I'm not going to do them just for the sake of uh, doing the whole level, you know. Plus, I'm terrible at them anyway, so it would probably just get me killed. And we don't want that. Over there is going to be a new character. It should be. And another bonfire. How you're meant to know that bonfire is there, I have no earthly clue. But, screw it. No. Oh, there's an item down there. There's actually... There's actually a blacksmith in this area that you can find who, uh... Finding him is a bit of a pain in the ass, and I'm going to be quite honest, I've forgotten where he is. If I remember how to get to him, then sure, I'll, I'll go to him, I guess. But I don't really want to. <laughs> But, like I said, if I remember him, then yeah, I'll go to him. Okay, now we just be careful here. Stand to the side of the trap. There will be yet more skeletons. Oh, look at this cheeky git. Oh, uh, dude, you meant to let me finish attacking. I mean, yeah, sure, I never let you NPCs finish attacking, but that's different. I'm the main character. I have, like, thoughts and feelings and such shit. Bloody necromo- Okay. Oh, bloody hell, he's parried me! Well, that really didn't do that much damage at all. Okay, I'm going to need to get to a safer place. Lure them to a narrow pass where their numbers will count for nothing, you know. Heal myself, too. That's always a good thing. Alright, then, you bitches. Come at me! Damn it, I did it again. Uh... Make yourself known to me so we can engage in honorable combat. There we go. That's better. I didn't even push forward there. I just want you to know that I didn't even push forward. I didn't actually push forward there. I just want you to know that I didn't actually push forward. So I don't know if this is the game, or if I need a new controller. But on occasion, it likes to do things without me telling it. Alright. Come along, sir. You're only delaying the inevitable. Seriously, I'm not pushing forward on the stick. <laughs> Ugh. That's not an invisible illusory wall. So I don't know why I attacked it. Okay, but anyway, this is why we brought the Divine Club. It uh, makes our lives significantly easier for this segment. It doesn't have to be the Divine Club. It can be any divine weapon. And as I believe I stated be Seriously, I'm not pressing it! Maybe that's just what the strong attack on this thing is. It's just a leap. That's weird. That's bizarre. Now both of these are going to be set off, so roll through! Oh my god, invincibility frames, where were you? Ugh. Ugh. Well anyway, let's continue to descend into the pit. Oh, 
Bloody hell. Oh my god, I'm falling! Hmm. Well, that thing I just fell on was actually the way to the blacksmith, so... Yeah. I hate the catacombs. Well, seems I've, uh, skipped a section. Hmm. Ordinarily, I wouldn't be too opposed to this, but, uh, you know, my... My souls and my six humanity. Well, the souls aren't really the main concern. It's just six... Or was it five? I think it was six. Six humanity is the main concern, but, uh... Oh, well, fuck it. At least I'm past that sodding segment, so if I die again, I don't have to deal with it bloody skeleton bastards. Well, let us carry on then. Oh, Patches isn't in here. Hmm. Well, anyway, normally there's a bloke here called Patches the Hyena. I think he asks you if you're a cleric, though that might be in the Tomb of the Giants. Suffice it to say, if he does ask you if you're a cleric, say no. He doesn't like clerics for some reason. I don't know, maybe one of them touched him when he was a boy. Hmm. That, that's a really dark topic for humor. I probably probably shouldn't do that. Mm. Well, anyway. Moving on from that awkwardness. I don't... I should have used a humanity. I want to reverse my hollowing and kindle this fire, because... You know, I don't really want to just have six Estus. I'd rather like to have a wee bit more. Hopefully I don't get invaded. I can't imagine that uh, too many people would be on and invading at this point. But you never know. Alright then. Well, hopefully I can run back up and grab my souls. That would be nice. As you might expect. Actually, again, like I said, it's not even the souls, it's the humanity that I really want. So, uh, let's head in and see if we can go up. At all. It doesn't seem like I can. No. Oh well. Sod it then. And the best bit is, through that death, I technically, kind of not really, showed you how to uh, get to the blacksmith. So, yay, I guess. Now, if we come through here we'll get that Dark Moon Seance Ring, which is what I really, really want. So that should be good. Now, I just remembered something I should probably do. I th now, I'm fairly sure that there's a still a Necromancer here. I'm not getting souls, so yes, there is indeed a Necromancer here. That's unfortunate. Now, one thing you can do is you can run and jump across there and skip that entire area. But, in order to get the Dark Moon Seance Ring, however, I do still need to come back in here. I must admit, there is something satisfying about just smashing someone's head in with a piece of wood. Oh, dear. Sir, could you please fuck off? You wanker. You were not invited to this party. No! Not allowed to get back up. Prick. Now... Well, as you can hear, there's an archer through here, so we shall raise our shield. That was some truly fantastic timing, if I do say so myself. wonder if I can... Oh, yeah! Oh, you're impressed. You are impressed, watching. Don't deny it. That was awesome. Now, through here, we're going to encounter a big skeleton, which, obviously, we'll have to be cautious with. Oh my god. Look at him backing away like a bitch. It's like, you're the big bloke. Now he's actually supposed to drop through there. Obviously something went wrong. We'll just blame the frame rate mod. That's usually the culprit. Hmm. Only two hits. 
wasn't as imposing as I thought he would be. Though he did do a decent amount of damage. And here's the ring. And one side effect of this ring, it's quite a nice side effect if you want it, is it gives you an extra attunement slot, I believe. Yep, there we go. It's just one. It says slot Z, but it's just one. This ring is granted to adherents of Gwyndolin, Dark Moon Deity and Last Born of Gwyn, Lord of Sunlight. Grants additional magic attunement slots. The Dark Sun Gwyndolin is the only remaining deity in Anor Londo. His followers are few, but their tasks are fa yeah. Their tasks are of vital importance, English motherfucker. Do you speak it? Apparently not. Now, I'm tempted to actually go back. Because, um... What I want to do... Though this might actually lead to a dead end, and I'll have to go back anyway. My memory is failing me in this place. I hate the catacombs with a fiery passion. The whole constantly respawning skeleton thing gets bloody old after a while, like the first time they do it. Up. The funny thing is, that's a developer message, because it doesn't have a rating on it, and I think that's a unique uh, avatar icon thing. So, yeah, I don't know why they would feel the need to put that there like that. Like, no shit, Sherlock, there's a ladder going up. I'm going to climb it. A little weird, but... Anywho, 